रेडियो ऑलिव वन सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री एफ एम आने आपके साथ गुड मॉर्निंग सैटरडे पर 10 से 11 के बीच में होता है रेडियो ऑलिव का सिग्नेचर शो कॉल रेड कार्पेट एक ऐसा शो जिस पर आप सुनते हैं कुछ सक्सेसफुल एक्सपैट्स कतरीज बिजनेसमैन आर्टिस्ट्स और स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन को जिनको सुन के सच में बहुत इंस्पिरेशन मिल सकती है एंड आज हमारे साथ एक और आर्टिस्ट ऑन द शो स्वप्ना नमूद्री Swapna, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> It's absolutely my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me today. Lovely. Let me introduce Swapna as well. Now, um, Swapna is a self-taught artist. Uh, was software engineer. She was working in Infosys for five years. In 2012, she decided that it's too much. I need to be an artist. So, now, Swapna is a self-taught artist. Was software engineer. She was working in Infosys for five years. In 2012, she decided that it's too much. I need to be an artist. So, now, Swapna is a self-taught artist. Was software engineer. She was working in Infosys for five years. In 2012, she decided that it's too much. I need to be an artist. So, now, Swapna is a self-taught artist. Was software engineer. She was working in Infosys for five years. In 2012, she decided that it's too much. I need to be an artist. So, now, Swapna is a self-taught artist. Was software engineer. She was working in Infosys for five years. In 2012, she decided that it's too much. I need to be an artist. So, now, Swapna is a self-taught artist. Was software engineer. She was working in Infosys for five years. In 2012, she decided that it's too much. I need to be an artist. So, now, Swapna is a self-taught definitely going to speak about swapna se aaj baatein hone wali hai red carpet par swapna i really wanted to know how did your journey start uh, i was always as a hobbies i was enjoying painting right uh, so evenings are meant only for painting right. so it was like that when i was working it's huh. kind of a meditation for me and uh, whenever i come back uh, I, uh, especially uh, when it's kind of stressed evenings i absolutely spend some time it's not like continuous 2 hours or something mm-hmm. i just uh, do something with my paints and brush right. so that's how it started it's it was just a meditation or mm. uh, a hobby for me then uh, so that continued for a phase of 5 years or so mm-hmm. and then i conceived my first baby and uh, so after her delivery uh, it's kind of a uh, Uh, another experience right, as right. a mother i was uh, feeling i was always a guilty mom because i was not <laughs> able to spend some time with her right, when i was right, working right so uh, the juggling part was really difficult yeah, for me yeah it's quite tough isn't yes. it yeah yeah and uh, it's and uh, obviously the software feel you know the timings yeah. it, it has to be more than 9 yeah. hours yeah. but it can extend to uh, 10 12, 10, 12 work from home everything yeah, yeah 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 so that part then both of us my husband especially he He just uh, gave the word, hmm. you know. If you want to take a break, yeah, just take a break. Yeah. So uh, we both needed that. Hmm. So that's how when I thought, okay, let me take a break for at least a couple of years, hmm. and then I can think about another job. Right, right, right. So that's and how the even even though I was thinking like that, I was feeling okay. I, after two years, I'll go back to another software field. Hmm. But then, and that. Period. The yeah. transition happened from a hobbyist, and somewhere, you know, the hobby became a true passion. Lovely, lovely. Because I started spending more and more time with the, with my own space, hmm. and uh, so the interest became a passion. Right. That's how it fabulous, happened. Fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> so, uh, was the change difficult? Like from being an IT professional to an artist, uh, it's not an easy task because even as an artist, you got to show your work, you got to speak to galleries, you got to speak to other fellow artists. Yeah. Start the network. How was it? Uh, the change as a, as an engineer to an artist is, uh, is kind of gradual. Right. You know, I didn't uh, I didn't let myself down for tam- some time because oh. I, I the next day. Uh, I remember the next uh, after resigning the very next day I started spending with uh, the, the paintings hmm. and then I thought okay I'm getting a quality time whenever hmm. the kid is sleeping hmm. so then I started research online hmm. how to uh, you know how can I improve the skills I hmm. know that was that that time I was just uh, a hobbyist hmm. it was not uh, worth the ex- selling or right. uh, exhibiting right. so I I I just wanted to polish myself hmm. and I was not sure if I I, I would be able to learn it professionally hmm, hmm. so that confidence bit was lacking right. so i i just went online and browsed what to say hours and hours hmm. so that that was kind of a uh, research time hmm, hmm. Uh, that right. has really benefited throughout the journey because i need that time right to update myself right. kind of thing right so that's how i started exploring the possibilities of doing different things and using the online media as a platform to yeah exhibit yeah. uh yeah so that lovely. was a transition lovely so yeah. uh it's always very important to stay inspired when you work it's the salary it's the bonus it's the um, accolades that you get from your teammates and your bosses as an artist you are alone yes what keeps you inspired i just don't wait for inspiration all right i, I right now That's like uh, <laughs> uh, i just uh, start my work hmm. and then the inspiration gradually yeah, comes to lovely. me cool. so uh, right now i know my timing is uh, very constrained because i have two kids yeah. so 
uh, I luckily I have a space for myself. Right. So the table will be always ready. <laughs> so whenever the kid is sleeping, my space yeah. will be ready for yeah. me. Yeah, that's so, a good thing. Yeah. So I just start with painting. Yeah. And then it will guide me to somewhere else. Obviously, there will be down days. Yeah. But uh, even if it's like that, I just uh, try to, you know, mm. not worry about it, and I just uh, try to find myself engaged in something else. Right. Let's talk about your plastic sculptures as well. So, yeah. tell me more about it, and uh, how was the feedback when you uh, put your exhibition on display? Tell me the story. Uh, the plastic work started back in uh, 2012 or 13 that okay. time. Okay. Okay. But that was not artworks. Hmm. So uh, and also I was uh, I, at that time I was not a full time artist I was uh, kind of doing so many things hmm. uh, and when I came back uh, came to Qatar hmm. like recently two years back I started doing sculptural works right. that was artworks and hmm. uh, and also I didn't I didn't get a chance to exhibit here hmm. but I exhibited it online right uh, and also then. I was not sure to concentrate on only on the sculptural works. I was uh, doing something else also. Mm. But since one year, I was concentrating only on the works, right. and I was uh, working on many themes related to the ocean life. So mm. I was getting a brilliant feedback uh, on the online galleries. Lovely. So that gave me the con confidence, and uh, you know. Uh, the feeling that okay somebody else sitting on somewhere else in the world is, is enjoying yeah, your yeah, work true. Uh, so that is kind of a motivation and Lovely. just i, I just uh, really concentrated on that Lovely. and that's how it began fabulous <laughs> yeah. so tell me more about qatar art scene now you have displayed your work in qatar as well yeah. tell me more so i came to qatar in 2014 hmm. so the first thing i did was uh, to join a small community of uh, artists and crafters okay so it's called khatat okay so we have a group of uh, now around uh, 50 members okay so uh, we in collaboration with qatara we mm -hmm. uh, have a space in uh, building 19 mm -hmm. uh, where we can exhibit our crafts and arts lovely. on alternate fridays lovely so it's kind of a handmade market mm -hmm. so that was the first exposure i mm -hmm. came to september and since october i was part of that group okay so it's kind of a sudden Beautiful. change for me yeah, yeah. and the exposure that we get there is uh, really amazing mm -hmm. because we get the local crowd and the expats and the tourists true so we get the exposure and also uh, people are willing to buy the artworks and they appreciate the original artworks so uh, that was a, a game changer i would yeah, say yeah beautiful so now one thing i generally ask all the artists who come here is their view on what you need to have apart from the skill of your art itself yeah you said it anurag because uh, we need uh, some skills apart from just painting right uh, to showcase our work and yeah. to earn something mm. because it's kind of a costly expensive profession yeah, yeah, of course uh, so at least you can make some money to buy at least your paints mm. and brushes right so uh, if you paint and just keep it up for ourselves nobody else is knowing that so you need to somehow make yourself visible to an audience right so uh, it is uh, firstly you have to think okay which kind of audience uh, will be enjoying your work right. what style of work so for me uh, it took some time to know what is my taste and right. uh, will that be enjoyable for the audience mm. or should i change and mm. things like that right. so when when i get exposed to an international uh, online platform i get to see and browse through many artists and what is the taste of the audience mm. and uh, Uh, what is uh, you know uh, the price range i'm kind of an artist who doesn't spend months to paint a big painting right i just uh, uh, f especially for my time constraint and the feeling that you know uh, sometime we'll have to move to our home country hmm. so the space also matters right. so i enjoy and it's easier for me uh, to handle medium size just right. small size works right. so that it can be shipped easily hmm. to the customer right I I had to work out that also okay. the costing right. the pricing everything yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah. So I would say research online mm. uh spend some time online to get the vibes that right. is really important mm. uh, at least uh, this time mm. to get an audience and uh, to have th that matters yeah. you know the, yeah. that that is a kind of motivation that makes the artist yeah, yeah. got to be a business person as yes, well yes yes somewhere that's somewhere there, there. <laughs> yes <laughs> let's talk about future now what what are you yeah. planning to do now uh, right now i just uh, a couple of months back i exhibited in tokyo yeah. it was kind of a large venue how so, was tokyo 
It was amazing. I want to go to Tokyo. <laughs> it is a must visit place. I <laughs> and the and lovely people, lovely yeah. country. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So the Tokyo experience was amazing. Yeah. So we were one fifty artists from around the world. Okay. So I just uh, uh, the feedback, you know, made me think. Yes, I should exhibit here also because. Uh, I have an audi- I I have a good amount of expats and yeah. uh enjoying families and friends here yeah. so I I am committed uh to exhibit here also Lovely. so I'm just finalizing on all the background works where to ex- the venue and the timing and the nice. dates nice nice so uh, soon in this winter I'm planning to exhibit a series fabulous. of works fabulous really yeah. is going to be there don't yes know. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> lovely thank uh, you at last one message from you to all the young aspiring artists as you said inspire yourself don't yeah. just wait for it dream things i would say dream big yeah. and uh, just um, motivate keep motivating and keep, motivate yourself every day right some day or the other it will come to you and and don't hesitate to give it a go i would say that yeah yeah, yeah. you know you never know uh, you never know that's yes true. yes <laughs> that's a nice tagline so really you frank, must yeah. give it a go and yeah. uh, you know, keep inspiring practice yeah yeah, yeah. lovely yeah. cool so now thank you so much for spending <laughs> time with you. us i hope uh, you enjoyed being on radio olive it's well. absolutely uh, you know it's kind of really good experience it is wonderful to be here Fabulous. thank you so much next thank time you. we see you you're going to be with your family you can't yes. come alone now <laughs> <laughs> lovely thank you so much thank you thank you anirudh have a great there you go swapna se hum logo ne baat ki red car पर अनिरुद्धाव के साथ रहेगा रेड कार्पेट शो पर नेक्स्ट सैटरडे 10 टू 11 इन केस यू मिस्ड आउट ऑन द इंटरव्यू डोंट फॉरगेट यू कैन लॉग ऑन टू YouTube एंड चेक आउट द इंटरव्यू देयर जस्ट सर्च फॉर रेडियो ऑलिव और जस्ट सर्च फॉर रेड कार्पेट एंड यू विल फाइंड मी एंड ऑल द पीपल हु हैव कम ऑन रेड कार्पेट चियो बंदास